hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'll be doing my olive oil relaxer um, I have the normal one normal I only relax my hair like twice a year so this is my first time this year relaxing my hair and the last time I relaxed it was in I always keep a um a note of when I relax my hair so um the last time I relaxed my hair was let me go back and look on my phone on the calendar um it was in September no it was October 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 the 18th that was the last time I um, permed my hair because like I said, I only perm it twice a year. Um, so like I said, this year right here will be the first um, time I'm permanent. Then I won't perm it again until later on by the end of this year I perm my hair. But it's thick. It's very, very thick. I've been wearing it in this uh, puff because I just took my braids out. I took my braids out. Was it Saturday? Saturday, I think I took them out Saturday. And woo, I have it's very thick, got a lot of new grow in it. Yes, yes, yes. Especially right here is very packed right up in here. Right here in the middle part of my head is very packed. Thick it is. It's very packed right up in here. Very packed right here in the middle part of my hair. Now around the edges of it, I mean it's I got a lot of new growth right there. You can see it like that's growing out right there. Right there. But in that middle part of my hair, that's where it really, really is thick at. I think I'm going to trim my ends this time too. I think my ends need to be trimmed. I think I'm going to trim my ends also. <laughs> I think my ends need to be trimmed. We have the relaxer base and an activator, some oil boost. Could, um, use dark and lovely too, but but this is a, I like these right here too also. But that's the shampoo and the conditioner. So you put you use these right here. You use the shampoo. I love the, the uh, smell of this. I buy this right here to um, condition me and my kids' hair when I'm when I um, just regular wash my hair, like on a regular wash day or something. I buy these in a single packs like this in the store. You can get them at Dollar General or Walmart. I love this one. This fragr this fragrance. It's like an orange. It's real good. It smells real good. But after you perm your hair real good, then you put this on. I use the whole package okay. I want to make sure I get everything out of my head. They tell you how to undo it on and then I have some gloves in the back for you. I always use the gloves. And I mean you can read all this right here. It tells you, I mean it it shows you you know what. Alright guys. But uh, right now I'm gonna um I'm gonna pour this in here. Let's go in here. This look like a little moisturizer. You put this on after you have um, wash and condition and shampoo and blow dry your hair. You put you apply some of this on here. It's like a moisturizer to moisturize your hair so it won't be dry and stuff. It's pretty good too. And then you put this also in here. Gooey. Hurry it up because I like to use my comb. But when I get ready to apply it, without now. Can see that or not first you want to apply your but I don't um, put the comb against my scalp because I don't want to scratch my scalp and then cause my hair to start burning so 
when I part it, I don't touch my scalp. I know the part ain't got to be perfect, but woo! You know when your head gets so thick and you're trying to part it? Woo, goodness. Which of my hand I'm putting on my clip. Ooh, it's so thick. I said when I get much older, I um, go back to being natural, but for right now. All right, well, you start by using my stick now to apply the uh, relaxer to my hair. Before I relax my hair, I always take my fingers and go through it like this right here so I can get all of it, all of it from being untangled at the end. But that's all I do. a little bit of it you don't take that much and I used to go to a hairdresser and I learned what I was doing my perms and putting perms and stuff like that in my hair I wasn't doing it right because every time I perm my hair I didn't know what I was doing back then I was perm my hair then I sit and leave the perm in my head right in the middle and that I learned how I learned that my hair was breaking out so bad right in the middle part of my hair when I was younger because I wasn't washing the perm completely out my head and it was causing my hair to break out real bad especially in the middle part and I start going to the hairdresser for them to try to get my hair to grow back you know in the middle and none of them could get my hair to grow back and um I even got my hair cut all the way down real short so it could be even with my hair in the middle and so maybe then it start growing back but it will always just stay a certain length, like right up in here. The rest part of my hair will always be long, but this part right here will always be short in the middle. And then my other, the back part of my hair will be uneven. One part will be long, and one part will be short. And ever since I um, started doing my own hair, taking care of my own hair, like relaxing it and keeping that wild growth and stuff on it and keeping it in protective styles like braids and stuff like that, my middle part of my hair have grown, it have always, always down my back now. The middle part of my hair. I'm not saying that there's wrong going to the hairdresser and stuff like that, but you can also take care of your own hair also. And I learned to take care of my own hair. It doesn't take that much. You care for your hair and it will grow. It don't take that much for you to, you know, to get your hair back on track. It's been, um, 10 minutes. So I don't like leaving it in too long. So right now I'm in the um, sink. I'm figuring to wash my hair out. Like you still washing it out. I'll be using this shampoo right here. So. white like I said that's a good sign when it comes up white that means that you mostly got all the relaxer out here I like to um make sure I open up my hair and I wash my hair real good I wash my hair real good when I wash that relaxer out I go through my hair wash out real good so when I grid it uh, put my shampoo in there I won't have to constantly keep washing my hair so much but I still wash it at least about two or three times I wash about three or four times after I have took out after I had washed all the relax out because I want to make sure I got all of it out because like I said you don't want to lose because it will if you leave some of that relax in your hair it will um, cause your hair to come out real bad like I said it don't happen to me when I was
now. I don't know, should I wash it again or not though? And I'm just letting it sit for a um, minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, wash my brushes out. I like to um, spray them down with ice oil. Here. I'm done washing my hair. Washing my hair. As I'm all done, washing my hair out now. And what I'm gonna do now is put some leave-in conditioner on it. I ran out of mine, so I'm using the kids. <laughs> I'm gonna use some of the kids on uh, leave-in condition. So. I ran out of it. I went to the store this morning and I didn't think about it till I forgot to um, perm my hair, relax my hair just then. I said, I forgot to get some old leave in conditioner, so I had to use some of the kids. But hey, it's fine, it's leave in conditioner. Now what I'm going to do now is blow dry my hair. I let it air dry sometimes, but since it's early up in the day, and I got to get back out later on, we're going out to eat, and I got to pick my my baby girl up at um, 3.30. So, um, shower comb. Um, as I blow dry it, I'll be combing it out, but I like to comb it out first before I blow dry it to get all the tangles out. Girl. All right, here so I had to put some of my stuff on there. It, I don't know where that pimple come from, cause this month just came in, so I know it ain't the later month, so I don't know why that come in there. But I put some of that on there, so it'll be going away after a while. Okay guys, I'm um, done blow drying my hair. It's still a little damp, but I don't feel to um, do something else to it right now before I put it back on the hair dryer, before I uh, blow dry it some more. It's something else I like to do to my hair after I uh, get through washing it or conditioning or whatever I do to it. When I get through blow drying my hair, I like to um, taste of my wild growth and um, and I like to um, put some on my hair, even though I do all my hair down with it and stuff. I like to brush through it after I have applied my wild growth to my hair. I like to um, go through and brush my hair through. And then when I get through doing that, I like to um, take my hair dryer and blow dry it into my hair 
too because it'll keep it moist and stuff and before i do that i'm going to um put some of this on here too it came with my relaxer Job. Nah. Yeah, but I don't really care. I um did it back right. I look here too, but I put some wild growth in this grease also. Um, I always like to put some wild growth in my grease. Cause I got like two more bottles of wild growth upstairs in my bathroom. So um I stay stacked up on my my wild growth. So I'm gonna um take some of this grease and I am gonna apply some of it to my hair also. I like my hair to stay moisturized because I don't want to stay um dry. That will also make your hair come out. Hey guys, it will do it for this video, but Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and see you guys next time. Peace.